Now, what advice do you have for building interesting characters? Because I think there's, you know, there's char- there's ca- character driven uh, movies and plot driven movies. Uh, do, would you agree on that? To a certain extent, to some extent, there, there's certain certainly movies where the unique character conflicts are not what makes you buy the ticket for a movie. It's yeah, like like in, like Indiana Jones, James Bond, basically. Yeah, but Indiana, I mean, Indiana Jones without Indiana Jones himself and sort of his unique yeah. thing wouldn't work. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah, in other words, the plot wouldn't move if you threw another character in there. It has to Absolutely. be. An, it's an Indiana. And Absolutely. same thing with well, James Bond. You kind of maybe do Born Identity. Yeah, kind of. But I mean, I mean, even in his blankness, um, Jason Bourne is a fascinating character because you're leaning in to see because you don't know who he doesn't know who he is and you don't know who he is, but you're fascinated to find out. So you're on the journey with him. So what advice um, do you, what do you have advice do you have for building interesting characters? Well, I think it's tailoring the right character for the world and the story you want to tell. So it, basically, you have to have a sense of what is the point of, of this story that I'm telling. Like, what is you know, be it sort of more of a plot engine or be it a world you're building, you know, figure out what that central question is, that thing that the movie is grappling with and figure out who is the most interesting person to be driving the story, to be carried through the story, you know, who is either best prepared for it or least prepared to go into the story. So Indiana Jones, he's uniquely well qualified to be in the story, but Groundhog Day, Bill Murray is uniquely disqualified to be in that movie and that's what makes it so fascinating you could do that same plot mechanic with nearly any other person on earth but this grumpy weatherman is a really great fit for the story you're trying to tell and was there ever a movie like groundhog's day prior to groundhog's day that did that there were movies that um yeah there were movies that that, that repeated time. time they repeated time yeah that was not a first thing so like I mean, Rashomon goes back to the same moment three times. So. Yeah, but yeah, I guess it, so it does. Not, not caught in a time loop this quite the same way, but like sure. that idea is not new to Groundhog Day. It's what, but it's, and that's an important thing to stress. is like there are no ideas that are groundbreakingly new. It's execution that matters, and it was the execution of that you know that time loop thing, which could have been in any Twilight Zone, but with a comedic bent, with a very specific character, with a very specific moral lesson he has to learn. That's what makes Groundhog Day Groundhog Day.